G'day, Matt from Sunshine Food Forest. We've got a big project. Last weekend we spent four days doing this project, which is pretty a small amount of time for a project. But anyway, this is it. We're really excited about it. Today's down veiling. It's gonna happen, hopefully. So what we've got is down that end. We've always had a little pot pond there and we had plants and stuff in it. It's a bit dirty at the moment. <coughs> um, but what we've now constructed is a pump in this pond down the bottom that pumps up under the liner into the bottom of this bowl. The water comes out the top, it's being distributed with a valve. It's gonna come over this overflow. And this is the part we don't know whether it's going to, how it's gonna work, but the water's gonna come off here, depending on the flow, will interact with this boulder. I'm hoping it'll just sort of gush down here and be aerating in the bottom here. Hits the back of this stone, gets distributed around the two sides, forms a bit of a well here, and then it starts to rush through a little creek. So what I've done is I've filled in some of these areas with waterfall foam to try and create little dams. So it'll create a little bit of a, a dammed area in there, rush between the stones, comes down between these basalt boulders. Again, hits a little area where it's gonna swoosh around and pull over the top. And then the end bit here is a little bit of a tricky bit. I ran out of foam for this side, but we'll see what happens. Eventually I want it to come in here, distribute between the two areas. So we have water cascading off this flat stone and then an equal amount of water being pushed around the end of the creek bed and then coming off and dribbling off the ends of those stones too. So now's the, the time to do it. Um, we're gonna lose a bit of water out of the pump as the system goes, because we have no water in the stream at the moment. So we'll turn the hose on and let that fill up as we go. So let's go. Water's on in there. I need to turn on this valve because I've got it stopped off. Oh, which way is it? This way. And I'm going to jump over here and plug it in. And we're going to film what happens at the waterfall. All right, guys, here we go. It's on full flow. Let's see what happens. Get some air in there. It's going to flow in. The the pool needs to build up pressure and see what's happening. Get up to full pressure. Get the system full of water. Pretty happy with that. That's not splashing around too much. We can see the water's coming in and filling up the basin where I've blocked it off. Oh yeah, this looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so down here, I've got the little dam happening. See how it's filling up. This is that's happening quite good. It's starting to trickle down through here, and it's. See, as it builds up a bit of pressure, it starts to rush a bit faster. This is what we want. Trying to recreate a stream. A lot of dirty water is going to come through. Same thing happening here. It's damming up pretty well. It's actually damming up a bit quicker than I thought. So we might have to adjust the flow later on. But yeah, third dam happening. That's getting a nice rushing effect in there. And we can see the rocks. And then we're coming in here. What I think is going to happen here, we're going to lose too much water around here at the moment. But no, it's actually happening. So we're getting the, the flat stones covering up. And if we come around down here. So we're getting the water off this stone. It looks like... We might have to get the liner back there. I'm losing a lot of water under here like I thought, so that definitely needs to be dammed up. And there's a bit, fair bit of water coming around the back here, so we need to dam up this area to create this effect to happen in here. That's fine. Um, let's go back up and have a look. It's pretty full. It's actually a little bit fuller than I thought it was going to be through here. So that might be to do with the flow, but we'll play with that later and see if we can get it working. <laughs> 